Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got our weekly grocery haul to go through with Woolworths. But first thing, I'm going to run through our weekly meal planner. So this week we've got some steak in the freezer. I've got three steaks in the freezer, only three. And I've got a big bunch of kale in the fridge. I'm going to make like a steak and a kale salad. I'm going to put beetroot and cheese and tomato and onion with it. But I'm going to like cut the steak up into like slithers so it goes further because there is only like like three small sort of steaks in the freezer. And then I'm just going to bulk it up with some cheese and all that sort of thing and just whatever I can find in the fridge to make like a big salad with. So I thought that would be a nice, um, a nice sort of a thing to have this week. Another night this week we're going to have a chicken lasagna. Now I've got some chicken mince in the freezer so that's going to make the lasagna really easy for me to make. I'm going to link my chicken lasagna recipe down below in one of the videos I've done if you're interested in looking at that. I do put spinach and things like that with it. So I'll link that below. But yeah, we're just going to make a chicken lasagna. I'm going to get two nights out of that. I'll make sure I get two nights out of it because I just like put a lot of fillings in it. I'll put like extra tomato um, pasta sauce or things like that. So I am definitely going to bulk this one up to get two nights. Another night, I just feel like some savory mince on toast, just something easy, you know, like you can even have this for breakfast, just basic savory mince. I mean like mince, onion, carrot and peas um you know you can put some tomato paste with it or some beef stock or something like that which i do have that have some beef stock in there i'm going to use that and just that on toast for for dinner for that night just something easy i've still got heaps of frozen salmon in the freezer so i'm going to make use of that this week we're going to have salmon rice and salad and then i've also bought some chicken thigh where chicken thigh is like 13 dollars a kilo now so it was dearer than chicken breast but I've got a jar of butter chicken I've bought and we're just going to make some butter chicken. I've got heaps and heaps of carrots, so I'm going to grate them down and put that in there as well to make it bulkier and I'm going to put some rice with it. And then another night this week, we're just either going to have leftovers. There's still frozen meals in the freezer. It's basically whatever anyone wants, canned um, baked beans or, to, or canned spaghetti, just something like that. And that's basically our weekly meal planner for this week. So let's have a look at what I got from Woolworths this week. So I've just got the groceries from Woolworths. I have spent this week $208.10, but I have been sort of gathering or trying to gather a few things now for Christmas gifts and just to put away. And um, I do have, I've accumulated about $30 now on my every everyday rewards card, which is really good. And I'm not going to use that now up until we probably need it for like the Christmas week beforehand to buy food or whatever with it. So I'm trying to build that up. Okay, so we'll have a look here. I've picked up a big box of wheat bix just for breakfast cereals and things like that. I've also got some Maltesers. Now, these are just gifts that I wanted to get. I think these are only $6 for that big box, so it's they're really good prices. And also, these were this week were about $5 for the milk tray. So I grabbed two boxes of them. They don't go astray at all, having you know a few boxes of chocolates over the Christmas period in case someone drops in or unannounced or anything like that you've always got something even though where I am in the climate it gets really hot here and they melt quite quickly so I don't want to buy chocolates too early on in the piece but you know sometimes you just have to do it otherwise there's too much to do at the end. I've also picked up some of these Nature Valley Crunchy Canadian Maple Syrup um, bars these are the whole grain oat ones. I'm just a person that grazes and snacks most of the day, so I'm always looking for things like that, so I grabbed them. I've also got two packs of the snacks. I did order just that big pack, but they didn't have it in stock, so they've just given me the two pack here um, just to get us through the week for school. I've got some of these um, a pasta, Sanaremo. I don't think I ordered this one. I think it might be just a substitute, but I do like the um, – they're like a vegetable pasta spiral, so I usually do buy them even though they are a little bit – you know, expensive. I've also got some Smith's chips, some poppables. The kids have been wanting them. I don't think they've remembered that they've had them before, but they have. And I've also got some Smith's chips. They've got parties and things coming up for the end of the week, all sorts of things. So I just want to grab a bag extra. I've also got some rinse aid because our machine has just got none left. It just seems to happen like that with the rinse aid. So I've just got a bottle. I've also bought some more of this rose water soap. Um, this is the fresh water. Yeah, the freshwater brand, I think it's called, and it's rose water and pink clay, freshwater farm, sorry. Um, yeah, and it's beautiful. It lasts ages. It's a big block. Yeah, it's around four, four dollars fifty, something like that. 
but I love it and it smells exactly like Turkish delight. So I've got another block. I've also picked up some more spaghetti. Um, obviously, a canned stint there. So I've got some canned spaghetti. That was on special. With, they've had a few specials on the canned spaghetti lately. Tetley tea, that's gone up a bit in price for me, but I've got that, just the decaf there because I've run, run it completely low on tea. I've also got my lasagna sheets. Now that's going to be for our chicken lasagna. I haven't got any lasagna sheets at all in the pantry, so I needed a box there. I'm not going to make them this time. I've also got some Nescafe Gold, just the green blend coffee here to try. I've got some butter chicken for my butter chicken. Um, a recipe that I'm just going to, you know, throw in with the chicken thigh and some veggies like heaps of carrots and things like that. But like I said, in the meal planner, just an easy one. It wasn't too bad the price on the butter chicken um, simmer sauce. Now I've got some boxes of biscuits for Christmas. So I've got some of the Scottish biscuit assortment by Walkers. I just love the look of this. They've got a few, um, a few different types in it. Perfect gift. And I also got these shortbread festive shapes just with, you know, just nice little Christmassy biscuits there. So I've got some chocolates and some shortbread, and like I said, it never goes astray. You will always end up using them. If not, you can eat them yourself. But, you know, they're great gifts to make with um, hampers, anything you want to put with it, and they always look nice. Everyone always likes some biscuits and chocolates. I've also picked up some raisin toast because I feel like some of that this week and just the one tip top bread for school. I've also got loaves in the freezer, but just wanted a fresh loaf um, for the week. They've only got a few days of school left. So, um, and then that's it for eight weeks. But the raisin toast is always good. I find I like to have that as a snack sometimes or the kids don't like it, but my husband eats it. I've also got some Coca-Cola, no sugar. I bought that by mistake, but I wanted to try the vanilla Coca-Cola. Um, yeah, these were on special this week, but just wanted to try it. It seemed to be okay. I didn't mind it at all. I've also picked up two bottles of this lemon juice. We put this with soda waters and fruits and things like that. We use it all the time, so I just wanted two bottles there so I don't have to buy any more for a little while. I've also grabbed some peach slices. We had no canned fruit, so it just felt like some peaches. The kids like it with ice cream or cream or custard, and I have got some custard this week as well, so we'll probably have that for a dessert. And I do like those bottles. I reuse them a lot for the peaches. I've got some free-range eggs. We are um, not having as many eggs as we usually do, but, yeah, just needed a carton there. I've also got some of these mangoes and they smell like Christmas. Seriously, they are so beautiful, the smell of them. So I've got them for the kids. Um, just a couple of pears for the week for the kids as well. Some bananas. Um, one avocado. I've also got a couple of cucumbers and I bought two punnets of strawberries, a big punnet of 500 grams and a small punnet by mistake. But that's okay because my kids have got parties and things so I can give them a punnet of strawberries to take into school. Um, just as something different. I don't think people would be taking strawberries in, so I'll give them that. I've got some of this um, summer fruit blend the frozen packet. It's got grape, strawberries and pineapple in it. So I thought this would be good even to make for desserts or um, smoothies or anything like that. Just want to throw it into the freezer um, just as something different. They've got a nice little um, thing here with the um, little icy poles here. So that looks good for the kids. So I'm just going to give them a go. I've also picked up some of the New Zealand Sea Lord fish fingers. Now, I haven't tried these ones. These are the hokey fish fingers. I usually do get the Jamie Oliver ones, which I really like. But these were on special this week, and we're going to have them for lunch over the weekend. But, yeah, they look really nice. They look nice and crunchy, and I think I'll just throw them in the air fryer like I do with everything else. Sorry, that's my dog in the background. I've also got some Singapore noodles with beef. Now, I thought I'd just try this this week for myself. These are pretty cheap. I think they were like two for five. $5.50, something like that. Just wanted one packet to try because I like Singapore noodles and just as something quick for lunch one day. Um, I don't buy a lot of frozen meals like this, but I just thought, you know, why not? I also picked up, um, I wanted the big bag of Legos like pasta here, like the um, uh, ravioli, but I, they gave me two separate bags, which is really good too because the big bag's huge. So I just got the ricotta and spinach one. You can freeze these. These are great, especially when you get them on special. And I like that I've got two separate bags as well. But you just throw some pasta sauce on top. My husband usually makes these and they are so good filling and beautiful. But we just don't have time at it at the moment this week to make it. But um, yeah, really worth it. And yeah, eat it or freeze it, whatever. So I've got two bags. I'm going to pop one in the freezer and I'll keep one out. I've also got some champagne leg ham, just a shave one. I like all the meats shaved. So I got that for the kids just for their next few days of school. And also the chicken thigh, which I'm going to use the whole lot for the um, butter chicken. I probably should have bought two simmer sauces because that is a lot of chicken. 
but I um, only bought one, so I'll just do with what I can. Might add a little bit of pasta sauce with it just to make it go a little bit further. I've also got some of these squeezy yogurts. Now, I don't usually buy these on the school holidays. This is just a school thing. So just um, six there, and then on the holidays, I'll just have like a tub of yogurt. Um, it's a lot cheaper that way. So yeah, just got them. My youngest doesn't really take them. He'll eat them after school. I've also got some unsalted butter, the big block of unsalted butter, because I've got lots of baking to do. Um, and I want to do some baking over Christmas as well. So I'll probably need more than that anyway. But anyway, I also got some of these Colby slices. I'm not sure if I tried these ones before. I don't usually buy cheese slices like in a packet like this, but I was just um, curious to see what they taste like. I love Colby, Colby cheese. I've also got some smooth hummus. I like these little um, containers because I can just take one and have half of it for one day and half the next. Even the kids can sort of share one and you're not opening up a whole dip and they're not eating it. This is just pretty easy sort of ingredients here. Yeah, it's really easy to make yourself as well. But if you've got time, I just don't have time at the moment. I've also got some of the custard for the kids. I haven't had this for a while and I'm going to put that with the peaches I got. Or they just eat it, you know, whenever. I like to just buy one kilo because the two kilos now, the two litres is like nearly $8 something. So I couldn't believe that. So one litre and they just it will eat that. So that's good. I've also got my usual milks. They're out in the freezer outside. And I've also bought some chunkers. I nearly forgot these were still in the fridge for my dog Bentley. He doesn't get these a lot, but these were $5 a bag on special this week and they will last a while. So I'm just going to add that with his dry dog food. And also in previous hauls, I know that I was buying dry dog food from the shops as well, but now I buy it online for him. I get a bulk amount for months and it's more or less on a subscription for him. So I just get that delivered to the door. So occasionally I will buy this sort of dog food um, as a treat for him. So that's today's shop for $208.10. Um, I feel a bit better that I've got a few little things for Christmas here as well, like um, a a lot. Last week I got the turkey and things like that, so that's good too. Obviously a lot more things I've got to collect, but, you know, it soon adds, adds up, doesn't it, if you don't do it over time before Christmas instead of leaving it all to the end. But I've also started to build up, like I said, the money on my Everyday Rewards card, even if it pays for, you know, the Christmas lunch or anything like that. It's, it's just great. So basically that's my haul today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed my meal planner and I hope I've given you some ideas for dinners for the week. And I'll see you soon for my videos that will be coming out soon. I've got some Christmas ones coming up, um, some Christmas baking, and, yeah, lots more. So thanks, everyone, for joining me today, and I'll see you soon for my next videos. Thanks, everyone. Bye.